August 15, 2022. Newsweek magazine publishes the provocative headline, Best UFO Picture Ever, the Calvine Photo, found after 30 years missing. This photograph from the Calvine Hills in Scotland is crystal clear, it's in color, and it shows this just magical looking 100 foot long diamond shaped craft that is clear as a bell. Not only that, we also see a Harrier jet trailing the object. As soon as this photo was released to the public, uh, people went crazy. It was a big deal. It has been called the greatest UFO photo ever, and I agreed. In fact, I've had a picture of the Calvine photo on my wall for the last year. While the image is compelling, of greater interest to UFO researchers was the sudden publication of the photograph. It was taken 32 years earlier, in August 1990, by two hikers outside the small village of Calvine. The identities of the two hikers have never been revealed. But according to the story, they delivered the photos to Scotland's biggest newspaper, The Daily Record. They had six photographs, and they go to the local newspaper to have them published. And for reasons that are still not clear to this day, this Scotland newspaper, instead of immediately putting these six incredible photos on the front page, which is what I would have done as a reporter, somebody calls the Ministry of Defense in London and they are ordered to send the photos and the negatives from the newspaper to somebody in the government. The only people to see the Calvine photos were the hikers who took them, a handful of people at the Daily Record, and a select group of employees at the Ministry of Defense. Among them was former Ministry of Defense UFO investigator Nick Pope who was present for classified briefings regarding the images. The photographs and the negatives went to JARIC, which is Joint Air Reconnaissance and Intelligence Center. This is part of the intelligence community that specializes in imagery analysis. Their opinion was that this was not a fake. These were genuine pictures, and they showed a solid structured craft. And also, critically important, parts of the countryside were visible. So trees, fields, a fence. And what that meant was that our Ministry of Defense experts could start to make some calculations and estimate distance from the lens, height above ground, diameter of craft. One of the things we were most interested in is the apparent lack of conventional aerospace parts and shapes. No wings, no tail, no fuselage, uh, no obvious engines. While the Ministry of Defense claimed the Calvine photos were returned to Scotland's daily record, the newspaper said they never received them. The images remained a mystery for the next 30 years, until former Ministry of Defense press officer Craig Lindsay revealed that he had kept a copy of one of the photos and shared it with Newsweek for publication. Craig Lindsay managed to keep a print of one of those negatives, thinking at the time, you know, I might have one of the greatest photographs of all time here. He kept that in his possession and kept it quiet for over 30 years, and we've got now the clearest photo of what potentially is a craft of non-human origin. While it is unknown exactly what happened to the originals, some believe the Ministry of Defense secretly took measures to ensure that the photos would never be seen by the public. My theory is that the Ministry of Defense bought the photos and the negatives, and the witnesses effectively signed a non-disclosure agreement.